The Mystery of the Ancient Witchcraft World It is believed that the dawn of human civilization was filled with the magic of witches, sacrificial rituals, prayers to the heavens and earth, and demons. It was the golden age of witches. Witchcraft powers witchcraft practices were prevalent in Asian countries like India and China. In a document dating back hundreds of years, an Arab traveler vividly described a ceremonial event in China. In front of a crowd, a witch used a wooden ball tied with a string and threw it into the sky. The ball soared high and disappeared leaving only the dangling string. The witch instructed a boy to hold onto the string and climb into the sky. Minutes later, the boy also vanished. The tribal chief thought for a moment and said something to the witch, who immediately cut the string with a knife, causing the boy's body parts to fall to the ground. The bloody scene horrified the witnesses. However, the tribal chief murmured something, and the witch stuck the body parts together, and the boy came back to life as if nothing had happened. The ceremony ended, leaving the witnesses in awe. Secret Buddhist texts mention how sorcerers made crowds disappear thousands of years ago. Followers of this cult recognize the power of spells and magic and believe. They contribute to religious faith. Ancient texts record that the Pala dynasty in ancient India created a miraculous elixir using their magic to rejuvenate people over 100 years old. The secret rituals of this cult are usually kept confidential, but they never lack the chanting of mantras, religious dances, and meditation. In these rituals, the sorcerers similar to witches play a leading role. It is believed that potions can only take effect when accompanied by the incantations called mantras. This skill is exclusive to witches. The sounds of mantras are said to instill fear in demons, causing them to vanish instantly, and they can be used to counter dangers, enchanting illusions. Witchcraft ceremonies are incomplete without enchanting dances, known as witch dances. These dances aim to stimulate the nerves of the participants. Hand movements, footwork, head shaking, and props like bells and incense burners are used to create illusions for the witnesses. In ancient Egypt, magic was used to gain the public's trust. A famous magician of that time, called Westcar Papyrus I, 700 years BC, performed a trick where he would decapitate a person and restore their head intact. In ancient Greece, high-ranking priests at temples often used magic to open temple doors and light torches without any tools. In Africa, witches are often depicted as old, ugly, and single women. They usually operate secretly at night and are unaware of their actions. They are considered a threat to the community because people believe that disasters such as illness, famine, and natural disasters are caused by witches at the behest of their enemies. In Ghana, a village was created to isolate and quarantine witchcraft practitioners to avoid calamities. In South America, Native American tribes often have witches who perform healing rituals. They organize dances around a fire and use magic to remove diseased body parts from the mouth of the sick person. In Asia, sorcerers possess extraordinary powers. They can summon spirits, practice sorcery, and use divination to put people into a trance. Witches can command spirits to carry out nocturnal tasks, such as fetching water or seeking revenge on others. After controlling spirits, Sorcerers must perform a military ceremony. Otherwise, the spirits will retaliate. Spirits can only be sent out at night and must be retrieved before dawn. Otherwise, calamity will strike. If their celestial plan is exposed, the spirits will strike back at the sorcerer. Moreover, in ancient Europe, people often blamed witches for diseases and deaths, believing they were responsible for harming humans through their magic. These misconceptions led to witch hunts, tortures, and brutal executions of those accused of being witches. In European mythology, witches were associated with the goddess Diana and were seen as enemies of Christianity during the Middle Ages. Intense witch hunts took place in the southern regions of France and Switzerland in the 14th and 15th centuries. Many Europeans viewed witches as a great danger to humanity. As a result, Governments and societies organized witch hunts to capture those accused of being witches. Thousands of people were falsely accused, tortured, 
and subjected to extreme cruelty. The witch hunting policy was also adopted by the Protestant movement in America at that time. The witch hunt lasted from the 13th to the 18th century, making it one of the darkest and most heinous chapters in history, spanning 300 years. Cruelty. The witch hunting policy was also adopted by the Protestant movement in America at that time. The witch hunt lasted from the 13th to the 18th century, making it one of the darkest and most heinous chapters in history, spanning 300 years. Today, thanks to the development of science, many witchcraft practices have been explained as mere illusions or psychological effects. However, Regardless of the explanations, witchcraft and their practices remain a mysterious and fascinating world. They have become the material for many works of art, with the Harry Potter series being the most iconic example. The only witchcraft festival held annually on May 1st is in the city of Gosnell, Germany. Hundreds of witches from all continents come here to showcase their practiced magic. There is a museum displaying witchcraft tools from various periods. In the Netherlands, there is a school that teaches witchcraft. Graduates receive certifications. The course fee is quite expensive, exceeding 2,000 euros. One of the requirements for witches is to not use magic to harm others and to abide by the law.